We're just a few days away from Super Bowl 57 being played at State Farm Stadium. An exciting week with lots of Super Bowl events, including the Hall of Fame luncheon, where alongside owner Michael Bidwell, I'm Danny Sarak. Michael, it's been a busy couple of weeks, not just prepping to host the Super Bowl, also looking for the Cardinals' new head coach. What are the updates on that front? Well, the updates, and if you just seen Setter here, in the history of all Super Bowls, there's never been a team that's been doing a GM search, a coach search, and then hosting a Super Bowl just a few weeks later. So we've been really busy planning, but also we've got Monty as our new GM. He's been fantastic. He's been with us three and a half weeks. Everybody's working well together. You can already feel the new energy and uh, as he's restructuring things, so a lot of good stuff. The update on the coach uh, search is that we have, um, for this week, we moved uh, three coaches to a final round of interviews and our second round. Uh, we've had two of those three interviews. Uh, Brian Flores decided to accept the position as defensive coordinator at the, um, at, at, at the Minnesota Vikings. And so, but it's Super Bowl weekend. The entire NFL is focused on the Super Bowl. So we're gonna pause throughout the rest of the weekend and, and get uh, restarted on this Monday morning. So we're excited about the great progress we've made Every bit of advice has been take your time, and we have. I know there's probably some frustration with some of our fans, but we want to make the right decision, not the fastest decision. Your grandmother, Violet, was the first female NFL owner. She was honored at the Hall of Fame luncheon Friday afternoon. When you were a, you were given a piece of artwork in her memory, you were a little emotional on stage to have your family in attendance as well. How special was that for you? It was pretty special and also, you know, knowing all the great stuff they've done and then, uh, you know, it was just, it, it, I hadn't seen it before and it, it just hit me uh, right between the, uh, you know, right here. I, I, I hope she and my grandfather are looking down and my father are looking down and proud of the acknowledgement that she was the first female NFL owner and one of the first female owners in any sport in the world. And uh, she was such a pioneer, such a strong woman, shrewd businesswoman, and uh, she didn't suffer fools. So she, she really worked hard and she had a lot of great success. Won a championship in her 15 years, uh, you know, went to the championship a second time. Uh, so she, she really held it all together and raised two, two boys at the same time and, and uh, just did a terrific job. I never knew her, wish I did. She was an amazing lady. What is the legacy your grandmother left behind that you now carry into the day to day of being the owner of the Cardinals? Well, I think it's diversity. She, she was the first diverse owner. She was the first diverse person in the room and, and it wasn't uh, predominant. It was exclusively male. And uh, so I think my father, who was 15, 16 years old at the time when his father passed away, um, you know, had a front row seat to seeing a woman do this and succeed. Didn't matter that she wasn't a man. She did a great job and he saw that. And I think generationally, that's why dad was such a great leader in breaking all sorts of barriers with regard to women and, and diverse candidates of color. So, uh, and I think that carries on to, to today. And they were doing it when it wasn't the cool corporate thing to do. Um, and so I, I, I'm just so proud of our, our history and of our, uh, and especially in this area. So many events showcasing the city and meeting with other owners and other teams this week. Leading up to the Super Bowl, I mean, are you getting any sleep? Have you, are you caught up on any sleep at all? You're just go, go, go. It's go, go, go. Uh, my Fitbit scores readiness one to 99. It was a one this morning, but I got out of bed anyway, had a few espressos and was on the phone before 7 a.m. So uh, we're going and, uh, and, and we're not gonna stop. And we're gonna get through Super Bowl weekend and then, as I said, re-engage uh, re on that search uh, starting early next week and we'll get after it then. So lots to stay up to date on Cardinals fans. Yes. DaisyCardinals.com will have that for you. Make sure you're catching the Super Bowl Sunday from State Farm Stadium. For Michael Bidwell, I'm Danny Sarak.